Henry Plum to all of us has been very kindly hosting a meeting today um, in the Houses of Parliament, bringing together over 25 MPs and members of the House of Lords to talk about um, the dairy industry. What we've been campaigning for at the NFU, and we've had posters in the underground of Westminster, we've had adverts in the Grocer magazine, we've been running um, meetings as well for process of representatives, is to highlight the issue of fairer contracts, more complete contracts that allow formulas for proper prices, that allows definition of volume, of terms of engagement and proper termination periods that are much fairer. The reason we're doing that now is because actually the European Commission, following the collapse in European dairy prices two years ago, had a high-level group that made recommendations about addressing the failings of the dairy industry. There are some good proposals in there, and what we're trying to do is draw support from the members of Parliament and the House of Lords, and getting members to engage with their MPs to get the message across that we don't expect government to solve all the problems of the dairy industry, but by engaging in fair contracts is a good starting point. That's the purpose of today's lobby, and we've had a good turnout. Mansell Raymond, as chairman of the Dairy Board, put strong points, and Rob Newbury, in his first outing as chief dairy advisor, was also there to make sure we gave all the detail of what the high level group recommended fair contracts that are clear and transparent and make sure farmers don't get a bad deal. And the whole dairy industry, who would, I think, be challenged if the dairy farmer is the deal system and get into that marketplace because of the market. The short thing, what I would encourage everyone to do is. Go to our website, pick up the information around our dairy campaign. There's templates for writing to MPs, seeking support. We are facing a different, envi difficult environment. The government is talking about no more regulation. What we want is simple, fair rules. There's an opportunity from the European High Level Group to achieve this. We need farmers to make sure they express their views about wanting a better deal for dairy in the long term. It's important to lobby MPs, right to MPs, lobby MPs at local level, because at the end of the day, we want our MPs to adopt the Commission's proposals, and this is our one chance, and this is the chance that we have to put a fair and balanced system back in the dairy industry within the UK.